All right, what is going on, everybody? And welcome to this Portland Trailblazers rebuild. Now, you will have to bear with me a little bit as I have the hiccups right now, and it does not seem to be going away anytime soon. But I have decided after the NBA draft, the Blazers have decided to draft Scoot Henderson with the number three over overall, my bad, overall pick. So I went through, and in the NBA draft, I drafted everyone to their respective teams. And we are going to go through the simulation. We are going to re we are going to rebuild the Portland Trail Blazers. And since they drafted Scoot, I am going to trade Damian Lillard. And I'm going to trade him up to one of two teams: the Miami Heat or the Brooklyn Nets. Whoever package seems most, whichever package seems most realistic, because those are the two teams he said he will be willing to go to. And right now, the Heat look like the only team that's um, willing to trade. For Willing to trade for him. I have heard next to nothing about the Nets because the Blazers want Mikael Bridges in a package. And other than that, if you go to look at the Nets, if you go to look at the Nets team, they have next to nothing that could entice the Trail Blazers and a Damian Lillard trade. What Cam Thomas, Ben Simmons, just to make the salary contracts match? Like they don't really have much. As in the Miami Heat, who can throw me Tyler Hero, who can throw me. A maybe a Gabe Vincent they resign him or a Yurchevin and their most recent draft pick Hame Hawkins Jr. Who I, I don't know much about him, but Cam Cam Whitmore was still on the board. Nick Smith Jr. was still on the board. I'm I don't know about Hame. I'm a bit iffy on him. I did hate to pick when we drafted him, but we will find out. So I think I'm gonna lean towards the Miami Heat. No bias, obviously since I'm a Heat fan, but they just have the better package. So before we do all that, we have to go to team player options. We are going to accept Trenton Watford and Keon Johnson. Kevin Knox, uh, um, I'm going to accept it. He, I might just give him minutes next year just because. Uh, Porzingis is not on the Celtics uh, in this universe. I should, I should probably do that, but I mean, that, that's also a lot of work. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do the Bradley Beal trade and all that. Hold on. We actually can't do those trades yet because Porzingis is a free agent. Uh, qualifying offers, I'll offer it to Cam Reddish because he can be a part of he can be a part of the rebuild. Possibly these hiccups are pissing me off. Um, if we look at the free agents, uh, let's see. I don't see Porzingis here. Did Porzingis accept his option? I didn't expect him to accept it. He did. All right, so maybe I actually can do the trades. All right, here is the Wizards trade. I believe this was a trade. Uh, I'm just gonna go with it. It's the most simple one. That one is done. And then we're going to do the Chris Paul trade. I obviously can't give them their first round pick swaps cuz 2K doesn't have pick swaps and I can't I can't trade the Suns pick. So we're going to do that. And then we are going to send CP3 to the Warriors because the Wizards thought that I mean the Warrior the Warriors, I'm sorry, thought that was a great idea. Let's trade Jordan Poole to the um Wizards for 38-year-old Chris Paul. And let's send two young players and Ryan Rollins and Patrick Baldwin. Yes. And didn't they send picks? I think they sent two first. Uh, they sent 2027. There's not a 2030. So we'll keep it at 2027 for Chris Paul. Th that insane. Absolutely insane. But, yep. All right. So those big trades are done. This is I got to move some positions around because I don't know why Jordan Poole is listed at a point guard. He actually went down in reading. All right. Now that that's done, we can do the trade that we've all that we've all been waiting for. Damian Lillard is getting traded to the Miami Heat for Tyler Hero, and the contracts already match up. But I want Nikola Jovic, and I want Jaime Jaquez, and I also want... I can't trade for their picks. All right, so why can't I not 2K? Like, why is this a thing? Why can I not trade for their picks? It's not... This is so stupid, dude. They own their pick. How is it involved in a trade? They... It's not going to let me do the trade because, yeah, that's stupid, but I'm going to get their picks. But, I mean, I don't know why 2K does that where they, I mean, they own these picks. It, it, it clearly says 2027 Miami, 2024 Miami. So, unless it's a pick, a pick swap trade, if I keep hiccuping, unless it's a pick swap trade, I can't do nothing about it. So, uh, we'll throw in a second and, um, yeah, you know what, I'm going to do that. They're gonna keep Kyle Lowry unless I take on his, unless I take on his contract, which I mean we can. It is a one-year deal, but if we do that, I'm gonna take their first-round pick next year and the and the year after if I keep hiccuping, and the year after. 
So this is what we're going to do. We don't have any bad contracts. We could send him Nurkic as a bad contract. I might do that. Yeah, you know what? Take Nurkic. I don't want Nurkic on the team. You guys take him. So we can say the contracts match up. Uh, so, yep. There it is. So we're getting Tyler Hero, Nikola Jovic, Jame Hakez, a second-round pick, and Kyle Lowry. And then we're going to get the next two first-round picks, if possible, for Damian Lillard and Nurkic. Set it up. Done deal. Done deal. Now I can turn off all the settings so we can do a, leg a legitimate rebuild. Oh, my God. These hiccups. They, they came out of nowhere, too. That's the best part. Salary cap breakdown. Oh, yeah. Lowry's on the team. That, that's why we don't have money. Uh, I wish 2K had a buyout um, system, but they don't. So we're going to have to keep Lowry on the team. I'm going to keep this somewhat realistic, but there will be some aspects that are not realistic at all. So uh, it looks like we might be forced to run it with this team for a year. <clears throat> to start, I'm going to move. Uh, oh, yeah, we have Scoot. So I guess si I might move on from Simons now that I just got Hero, who is not going to wear number tw 21. Who is wearing 14? Is 14 retired in Portland? I guess 14 is retired in Portland. All right, uh, you can wear number four. All right, I'm going to be honest. There are no no trades for Anthony Simon. So he's, he's just going to run our six man this year. All right. Our second best player is going to be our six man. All right. So we quite literally cannot make any moves in free agency. Besides, I think we're going to bring back Jeremy Grant. And I plan on trading him in um, the season when the season starts. We'll, we'll, we'll give him a realistic offer. Uh, we'll give him about 12 mil a year. We'll do that. Um, Matisse Thibault, I don't plan on bringing back. And Cam Reddish, I do want to, I do want to bring back these hiccups. Uh, and a probably longer year deal. I want, I want him to be somewhat of a part of this team's future. So Jeremy Grant, uh, Matisse Thibault on one year deal. I we can use use them as a trade piece. Uh, so why Cam Reddish? Why is it one? I'm fixing those contracts. I know, I know a contract I gave him. We get them back. Those are probably the only players. Uh, um, I can't stand these hiccups. We'll bring back Drew Eubanks. Um, and then that's probably going to be our free agency. Not really much we could even do. Or I'd even want to do. Maybe Hamadou Diallo we could bring in. Or uh, probably not. I mean, what's our biggest position I need? Probably center now. Because uh, I don't want Trenton Watford to play our center. So we might bring in Mo Bamba on a kind of a pro approve it deal. Um, so we'll give him 6 mil flat team option. Um, I'll actually give him 7 mil. To run our starting, did I not give it to him? Did I give it to him? I did not give it to him uh, by accident. I will give him seven mil, prove it deal, to uh, run our center, and he does accept that. All right, we're going to be trading Grant and Nazir Little for Maxi Kleba, Javale McGee, two first round picks and a second. Um, I'm mainly doing this for the picks. Three. Three years, I can't stop hiccuping. Three years of Maxi Kleba. Oh wait, uh, they're not interested. Um. Yikes. All right, well, I guess I'm not doing that trade. Um, <laughs> we'll try this again and see if any team's willing to give us a first. I feel like Jeremy Grant can demand a first from the Kings. I will not take Keegan Murray from them, though. Uh, the Magic, why would they want Jeremy Grant? So it looks like the Kings are going to be the team. I'm not going to take Keegan Murray away from them, though. They traded Rashawn Holmes in real life, so I'm going to do that trade right there. We get a first-round pick for uh, Jeremy Grant. And now it looks like I might trade. I'm going to trade Matisse Thibel. Can't stop pickuping. I'm going to trade Matisse Thibel and probably Keon Johnson. See if I can get any pick. A first. Oh, we have to give up a first in that one. I mean, I know I said somewhat realistic, but I mean, hey, the Spurs want to give me two first round picks. I'm taking those two first round picks. So I think this. Why did I go to Pro Street? I'm pretty sure this is what the team's going to look like. Scoo Henderson will be starting at point guard, Hero will be starting at shooting guard. Uh, Shaden Sharp at the small forward. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna go with Jovic or Watford. Watford at the power forward, and then uh, Mo Bamba will be our starting center. In terms of free agency, as you can see, most of the players signed. Ky Kyrie Irving goes back to the Mavericks. Harden back to the Sixers. Brook Lopez back to the Bucks. Vucevic ends up signing with the Rockets. Uh, D'Lo ends up signing with the Jazz. Miles Bridges goes to the Lakers. I don't know how how they had cap space. Oh, probably because of D'Lo. Uh, Kuzma goes to the Pistons. Uh, Dinwiddie ends up signing with the Timberwolves. Christian Wood goes back to the Wizards. I believe he played. He did not. Why do I always picture Christian Wood in a Wizards jersey? Yeah. Austin Reeves resigns. Russell Westbrook ends up signing with the Spurs. Yakaperto to the Warriors. Kelly Oubre to the Bucks. Alrighty, so we are going to go to player progression. See how Anthony Simons and them. 
Hero's an 85. Simons is an 84. Scoot Henderson is some... Oh, Shaden Sharp. I saw the S. Uh, Shaden Sharp is up to an 82. Um, and then Cam Reddish jumped up. So that's good. You over-jumped up one. They actually want to start Lowry over Scoot Henderson. That is insane. We're going to go more of the younger route um, there. Scoot Henderson is going to get those starting minutes. Um, Shaden Sharp is going to be our starting small forward. Mo Bamba. Um, do I want to st start... I kind of want to see what Jovic... I know Jovic is... You are not wearing number zero, buddy. I know Jovic isn't great in simulation, but I think we're going to start him at that power forward. I mean, we got to embrace the tank a little bit. And then uh, Watford can play our backup center rules, so we can give Hame and probably Chris Murray some minutes. We're actually going to run this lineup. I'm going to put Hame and um, Chris Murray in the G League for this year. And we are going to run a Scoot Henderson, Tyler Hero, Shaden Sharp... Jovic and Mo Bamba starting lineup with Simons, Cam Reddish, Wofford, and Kyle Lowry off the bench. That is what we are going to run. Um, we'll keep everything the same. We got Chauncey Billups as our head coach. Um, not School Henderson. Where is... Nope. Who am I sending? I'm sending uh, Mr. Hame Haquez. And I am sending Chris Murray to the G League. And that gives us some roster spots, I believe. Does it not? Uh, it does not. And Gabe Vincent didn't even get a job. And lastly, before we simulate, I am going to change the shot tendencies. Hero, yours is going to be at 99, bud. You're our star player right now. Simon, yours is fine at 80. Uh, I'm going to up Shaden Sharps to 70 so he can actually get some shots up. School Henderson's, I'm not going to touch. Cam Reddish, you're, yours is going to be up, bro, if I keep hiccuping. Mo Bamba, we're going to up yours to 70 also um, so you can actually score. And that seems pretty good to me. Uh, so we're going to start simulating, and I'll see you all at the end of the season. All right, here we are at the trade deadline. We were actually fighting with a play-in spot until you can see all those red L's. And we are now the worst team in the West, which is not bad. I don't know. Do we have a first-round pick? I really hope we do. Uh, we do not. Who owns our first-round pick? We own the Spurs. I really don't know who owns our first-round pick. That is not good. The Bulls somehow own our first-round pick. How did that happen? All right, so looking at this, it doesn't look like they own their 2024 first-round pick. Looks like they only own their 2023, and they own New York's 2023. In 2024, they have a second-round pick via Atlanta and a second-round pick that's the best between Charlotte and Minnesota. So um, Blazers owe oh, Chicago. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, they lost their pick. In the Larry Nance Jr. trade that I think sent him to New Orleans. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So we don't own our pick th this year. We do own the Spurs pick that I just made a trade with. They're the ninth seed. So it's actually good if they're outside of the top five. So them being at nine is perfectly fine with me. Um, Yeah, the Bulls having our pick kind of sucks. See how the Heat are doing. The Heat are currently the four seed. Um, Damian Lillard is averaging only 22 points. Old Depot is starting at the small forward spot. They are starting Yurtz event. Did they trade Nurk? They traded Nurkic. They traded Nurkic to. I honestly don't. They traded Nurkic to Toronto for John Wall. Why would you do that? Why? No, they didn't. Where the hell is Nurkic? They traded him for Pokazewski. And then they traded Karis Levert for John Wall. Okay. Alright, I tried shopping Simons, but there were uh, really no offers. That I wanted. So, I've never seen that before. Will retire. That's a first. Alright, so I am going to just sim to the end of the regular season. I tried getting our own pick back, but Chicago does not have the salary cap to make that trade. Alright, end of the season. Joel Embiid is your back-to-back -back MVP. Wim Banyama is your Rookie of the Year. Cole Anthony, Sixth Man of the Year. Wim Banyama, Defensive Player of the Year. Garland is your Most Improved. Doc Rivers is your Coach of the Year. Here are your all-NBA teams. All-defensive team. Derek Lively made all-defensive team as a rookie. He averaged 10 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 blocks. That is absolutely insane. And Scoot Henderson made a defensive team in his first year. Would you look at that? All-rookie first team, Scoot was number 3. Bro, these hiccups are ridiculous. Uh, Chet Holmgren is on the list. He only averaged 11 points uh, a game. And obviously, we did not make the playoffs. We ended up, look at the Suns, the Suns ended up being the one seed. We ended up being the worst team, I believe, possibly in the league. Yep, 
We end up being the worst team in the league, and we don't even own our first-round pick. I cannot stop pick-upping. We don't even own our own first-round pick. He ended up being the five seed. Oh, my God, the East. 60 wins, 59, 57, 56. 56 wins got you the four seed in the Eastern Conference. That is insane. All right, Um, if we go through the player stats, let's see. Uh, Hero only ended up averaging 21 points a game. Did they mess with my rotation again? They they did. Why do they keep... Oh, my God. I don't know what settings on, but they keep changing my rotation. You know, all the lineup automation is off. So, I don't understand why they're changing my rotation. Whatever. Those were the stats. We're going to simulate through the playoffs and see who who will win the championship. I can't stop picking up And it's going to be the Celtics beating Marcus Smart in the Grizzlies to win the NBA championship led by Tatum and <laughs> Porzingis. Uh, so the Celtics get banner number 18. LeBron James retires. I can't stop it. Uh, Kyle Lowry retires. So that contract is now off the books. Hall of Fame, LeBron, Dwight, Carmelo. Jersey retirements, LeBron James in Miami. Kyle Lowry in Toronto. Dwight Howard in Orlando. Melo in Denver, and then LeBron in L.A. and Cleveland <laughs> League meetings. Uh, we're going to have nothing. Draft lottery. We do not own our own pick. The Spurs have number five via Toronto. Oh, we have number three via San Antonio. We need that pick to drop. Need that pick to drop. The Bulls fell to three. And did we get it? The Spurs fell to five. Those top ten protect protected. So we'll get their pick next year, but we don't get it this year. So we... Don't even have a first-round pick this year, it looks like. That is tragic, dude. We could have had a third overall pick. Maybe I can try and finesse. I don't think they have the money to for me to even be able to get that pick because they have um, Zach Levine, Alonzo Ball, and DeMars. I can might be able to get that pick back. Uh, Chauncey Billups, love you, but you're fired. Uh, we are going to bring in. I want to try and bring in a real-life coach, uh, but there is not. Well, there are some, but. Is that Marcus Morris? No, it is not. Actually, we'll bring in Billy Donovan. We're going to... Uh, maybe we're not going to bring in Billy Donovan. We'll just bring in Michael Stafford. When in doubt, bring in Michael Michael Stafford. And uh, we're going to go to the NBA draft, and we're going to try and trade for our pick back. Uh, so if we go to proposed trade, we're going to have a package centered around Anferine Simons. Anferine Simons for the third overall pick. That straight up doesn't work. They want two first. I am not doing that. Hell no. I will give you, though. Um, I will give you Jabari. Can't give you him. Um, who can I give you? I can, I'll can. i give you Chris Murray in this deal. I don't plan on playing him. And um, Hame I'm going to keep. And that's it. We literally only had three players under contract. So uh, Hame, I'll give you two seconds, three seconds. I'll give you four second round picks. And we get our third overall pick back. With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Thunder select Isaiah Collier. With the second overall pick, the Raptors select Ian Jackson. And back-to-back -back years with the third overall pick, the um, Portland Trailblazers are going to select a lot of guard play. Ron Hollins, maybe? we do. I mean, we can play... Um, I don't know how to say his name, but I know his last name was Uzelis. So we can play him at small forward, possibly. Um, DJ Wagner is here, and he's really good, but he's a point guard, and we don't need a point a point guard. So I think I'm going to go with Mataz Buzelis. He will be playing our small forward position. We're going to sim to the end of the draft. Uh, don't tell me the Spurs. The Spurs, Spurs ended up with DJ Wagner. That's tough. Uh, but I'm happy with our selection. Matthias Buzelis is going to be a great fit. We're going to accept. Oh, we got Jaden Sharp still. I forgot. Maybe we'll play him at power forward then. I don't know. He can play anything. We are going to accept Mo Bamba's team deal because he averaged 12 points, 11 rebounds, and two blocks. I know he did not shoot well, but I'm definitely I'm not going to bring back Jabari Walker. We need to find a way to get rid of Rashawn Holmes off this team. All right, we're going to do this trade right here. We're going to get a 2027 first round pick in Christian Coloco for Rashawn Holmes and Trenton Watford. Uh, so needs right now is just depth. We have our starters set. Our starters are going to be Scoot. Tyler Hero, Shaden Sharp, Matez Buzelis, and Mohamed Bamba. Uh, so, really, we need a backup point guard, backup shooting guard, and maybe, maybe a better backup center. So, backup point guard-wise, Chris Paul, what are you doing going to say? 13 points a game. Um, we have money, obviously, but I don't plan on spending a lot of it here. 
Um, backup point guard wise, there's obviously options. We could bring in Cole Anthony to be our six man. Um, we can we can afford a lot of shooting guards, um, but none of these guys. I really, uh, Malik Monk actually might be the the move here for backup shooting guard. What do we have for backup centers? Um, we got Jakob Pertl here. All right, so I'm gonna sign who I gotta sign. I'll see y'all next next season. Uh, so AD signed with the Raptors. Um, Jalen Brown went to the Lakers. <laughs> uh, Tyrese Halliburton, I guess the Pacers said, screw it, we don't want you no more. He goes to the Wizards. Um, so everyone else looks like they went back to the, nope, Chris Sapps left the Celtics, uh, went to the Bulls. Uh, DeJounte Murray went to the Magic. Pascal teams up with, uh, Jalen Brown in LA. Um, Okay, anything else? Chris Paul goes back to the Warriors on it, probably the last deal of his con and DeMar DeRozan is in Boston. Clay Thompson's in Sacramento. Uh, Fred Van Vliet is back in Toronto. Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, we're going to simulate through the rest of these free agencies. We made some pretty okay signings. Um, we signed Tyus Jones and Malik Monk and Kevon Looney for some more depth. Jaime Jaquez jumped up to a 78 overall. Scoot jumped up to an 84. Shaden Sharp jumped up to an 86. Heroes an 87. I can't stop hiccuping. Uh, so, let's see. Advance to next season. We are going to um, auto-generate rookies. See what the start lineup is looking like and see if we can make some sort of maybe a play-in push. I feel like this team is good enough to win a playing game. We're going to run a nine-man rotation. Uh, I'm fine with this. Uh, Jovic is not going to be playing, but that's fine. Yeah, I think I'm just going to run it as is. Uh, I'll see you all at the end of the season. No. Where is Bam Adebayo? They traded Bam for De'Aaron Fox. Why? Oh, my God. Okay. Um, We're bad. I'm going to continue simulating. I am appalled right now. Why would the Miami Heat do that? All right, we actually ended up the season pretty decent. We were on a huge winning streak in March and then went on a losing streak to end the season. Uh, Darius Garland is your MVP. We got Rook of the Air in Montez Buzeli. 16 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, a steal and a half, and a block. Uh, Chet Holmgren is your 6th man of the year somehow. I don't even want to know who's starting there. Wemban Yawa, defensive player of the year. Brandon Miller averaged nearly 30. And then J.B. Bickerstaff is your coach of the year. Here are your all NBA teams. I do not see any Portland Trail Blazers. Who Henderson makes all defensive first team. And that is it. Obviously, we got Buzeli's on the all rookie team. We actually... Jumped up to the 8th seed at 40. And 42, we are taking on Bam Adebayo and the Sacramento Kings. Over on the east, it is what it is. Uh, if we go look at the per-game stats, um, Hero led us in points with 22. Then Scoot, Shaden Sharp, Buzelis, Mobamba, and Malik Monk. First game in the play-in. Can we win? We do. We do. We end up becoming the 7th seed. Going up against the OKC Thunder, who have the um, use of Nurkic. That's where he ended up going. He went to um, OKC. Uh, and they're starting him over Chet Holmgren. I don't think we're going to win this series or we have any chance. We are we are up 3-2. All right, now I think we have a chance. Now I think we have a chance. We're going to lower this to an eight-man rotation. Um, yep, yep, seems, seems about right. How did Hame do? He's playing okay in the playoffs. Uh, can we do it? Simulate through game. Yeah, they forced... A game seven by one point. We're going to simulate. Going seven games in round one as the seventh seed. I will take that. We might actually pull this out. We're going to move on to round two. The Portland Trailblazers are going to take out the young OKC Thunder team as the seventh seed. They move on to the second round of the playoffs to face the Denver Nuggets who knocked off the um, what you call it? The Spurs hero dropped 27 a game on 56, 53, 94 splits. Scoot averaged 18 and 11. Uh, Shaden Sharp averaged 18. Buzelli's did not shoot well, but he averaged 15. Ty Jones played unbelievable off the bench. Same thing with Malik Monk. Mo Bamba actually played pretty damn well, and we end up moving on to face the Denver Nuggets. I don't think we're a, a single match for this team. When we're going to game seven. Okay. Um, this team is exceeding expectations. Can we take out the number three seeded Denver Nuggets? Let's see. It's a close game in the third. We have the lead in the fourth. Two minutes left up by four. It looks like we are going to take out the Denver Nuggets in game seven behind Shaden Sharp's 35. 
and we are off to the NBA Finals against the Jazz. We can beat this Jazz team. We can 100% beat this Jazz team here as the 7 seed and the 7 seeded Raptors made it all the way. Why do I feel like this is the um farthest we're going to make it in this um video? Buzelli's dropped 21 a game in that series. So does Shaden Sharp. The Jazz. Utah. What do you got for me? We got swept. Okay. Well, that didn't last too long. Uh, they're just going to end up losing to the Cavaliers, let's be honest here. Yep, they lost in five. Unbelievably insane run to the conference finals for the Blazers. Um, so, we we now we have to build off of that. We 100% have to build off of that run. Um, because, I mean, if we don't, we're not going to have a high... No, we have the Spurs pick this year, don't we? We, we should have the Spurs pick. No? How do we not... Did, oh, the Spurs made the playoffs. That sucks. Um, yeah, that sucks. But we have the 16th overall pick. I'll take it. NBA draft. I might look to trade this pick to go get a disgruntled star. Since we made that run, it's definitely... Po I just realized the one seed had 49 wins in the West. The Western Conference is ass compared to the East, bro. I don't know what is going on. Um, the Clippers are bad. They got rid of Kawhi. I, I, I don't know where Kawhi went. Uh... The Timberwolves have Lowry marketing. Wow, this is an insane um, simulation. Um, what do we need? We need a center. We need a center badly. Is there a disgruntled center anywhere? Robert Williams, James Wiseman. Not really. There's really no... I don't have the assets to go get Joel Embiid. Do I? No, I do not. All right, I can't actually trade anyone. So I'm just going to draft um, with this pick. Uh, probably best available, which looks like Todd Snow, small forward, I'll be honest with you, is going to end up getting traded, 100%. Uh, an 81 overall shooting guard was the number one overall pick. We'll sign these two. They're both going to get traded. I want to try and make a big splash. I'm going to keep uh, all these guys because they could be used in a trade piece to go, go and get a star. Unless we have money, which we have money. Uh, not many big men. We need a center. Not many, like, star-star guys here in free agency. Well, I, well, that I can afford, obviously. I'm going to do a salary dump trade here. Sending Malik Monk and Kevon Looney in a first to the Clippers for Bull Bull. And another first, and I plan on flipping Mr. Bull Bull. Because I have big plans here in this free agency. The realism is going out the window. Well, I'm, this is the trade I'm doing. Sorry, me and Peanuts. I'm trading for Jalen Duren. And a first round pick. Yes, please. Give me Jalen Durant on this team. And I have enough money to go out to Giannis. Yep. Done deal. Done deal. Give him all he wants. Player option. No trade clause. Giannis is looking to go to the Trailblazers. I am going to offer Jason Tatum a contract just in case. You never know. Um, Jason Tatum. We, we can get we can get one or the other. I'm obviously going to pick Giannis. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Welcome. To the Portland Trailblazers. We have Giannis on the team. That should be enough to win us a championship by far. All right, here is the starting lineup for this. What is this, third season? Third season. Scoot Henderson, Tyler Hero, Shaden Sharp, Giannis, Jalen Duran. Off the bench, we have Terry Rozier, Jaime Jaquez, Matis Buzelis, and Nick Richards. This team... This team has to go all the way. This team is so stacked. I'll see you all at the end of the season. All right, nearing the end of the season, we want an insane winning streak, and we are going to end 62-20 and 20 as the one seed. LaMelo Ball is your Rookie of the Year. Dante Beasley is your Rookie of the Year for the Miami Heat. Markel Fultz, Sixth Man of the Year for the Cavs. Victor Wamanyama wins his third straight. DPOY, Anthony Black is your most improved player. Michael Stauffer of the Portland Trailblazers run with Conrad Bell. Are your coach and GM of the year? We get all Giannis on all NBA second team, and that is it. All defensive first team, we get Giannis. All defensive second team, no school Henderson for the first time. Interesting, we are the first seed going up against the eight seeded Nuggets, who we defeated last year in the second round. I think we can do it again. Simulate round, we end up sweeping them to take on the Houston Rockets. This team is really good. We're a lot better. Simulate through round. They're up 2-1. They're going to go 3-1, aren't they? Watch. Bet. Okay. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. We're up 3-2. And we beat them in 6. Going up now against the OKC Thunder, who we beat last year in round 1. They added Brandon Ingram to the team, and they're actually starting Chet 
Holmgren. Let's see. Simulate through game one. We win. Game two. If you have a cut on your head, Scoot, you can play. Game two, we win by two points. Game three, we lose by ten. Don't let them tie it up. We are up 3-1. And we are not heading to the NBA Finals. I'm shortening the rotation. I'm shortening the rotation. We're going to do that. And I'm going to have the bench depth. Uh, bench utilization. We're going to knock that down to 44. Uh, so our starters play a lot more. Game six and game seven. <coughs> game seven. Let's see. On our home court. We won two game sevens last year as a seven seed on the road. We can do it at home. And we were blowing out the Thunder up until that third quarter. And it's a four-point game. They We win by two points to head to the NBA Finals. Who can I see? Who? No, I want to. I, I can't. I can't look. Can I? I can't. Okay, I can't look. He glitched out. I want to see who hit that last shot. Wait, we lost! We lost! Oh, we lost by a point. We were up 117, 115, and someone hit a three. Wouldn't let me check. We lost in game seven. Hero dropped 38. Scoot Anderson choked. 4 of 13. Oh, that's an awful way to go out, dude. And there's no way for me to even see who hit that last shot. Wow. And the Thunder blow a 3-0 series lead. And the Hornets are your NBA champions. All right. Same starting lot. They want to start Hame over Shade and Sharp. I cannot let that happen. Cannot let that happen. Same lineup. Same team. Going into the next season. Run it back. See what we can do. We were so close. We were one, two points actually away from the NBA Finals. And we... This was... Oh, no. What rule got changed? What rule got changed? The shock revert. The shock clock got changed to 45 seconds. Hell no. Let's simulate to the end of the season. All right, the end of the season, I think number four, Victor MVP, Trace Jackson Davis, Rookie of the Year, Um, like five years, four years later. Uh, Isaiah Collier, Sixth Man of the Year. Wembanyama obviously wins every award. Nick Smith Jr. is your most improved player. Mark Dangle of the OKC Thunder is your coach of the year. We get Scoot Henderson on the All-NBA team. No Giannis. Uh, he doesn't get any All-NBA teams or any All-anything. We are the two-seed going up against the seven-seeded, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Nuggets. Third straight year, I believe, facing this Nuggets team in the playoffs. Scoot led us in scoring. Giannis only averaged 19. Hero, 18. Zayden, Sharp, uh, 17. Ame Hake is off the bench. 15 points a game. He had a chance to win... Sixth man of the year, Jalen Duran, 14 points. I see that our uh, rebounding might be our big... We don't have a single double digit rebounding and shot blocking. Might be our biggest uh, hole. Um, we win game one. Let me simulate through round and pray for the best. We are going to win in six. Going up against the six-seeded Mavericks led by Luka, Kyrie, and Jalen Williams. There is no way we lose to this team. There is no way we went to seven. And here we go. We get Scoot versus Victor in the Western... Conference Finals, we are so much better than them. We have Giannis guarding um, Victor. And look, the Miami Heat with Damian Lillard. The eighth seed are in the NBA Finals. We're going to go game by game. We win game one. They win game two. The Heat are going to end up losing, yeah. We lose game three. Tied two apiece. And we lose the pivotal game five. Of course we do. Because why, why, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? All right. Who is not playing well? Terry Rozier, you are getting no minutes. Uh, Jalen Duran, you're playing pretty decent. Jaden Sharp, why are you off the bench? 2K, dude. You, 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 you need to stop messing with my rotations. You really do. Buzelli's 21. Rozier, you are not getting minutes. We're going to give at least 10 to Nick Richards, so we have a backup center. Um, and then we'll give the rest to, uh, Tyler Hero. Pivotal, pivotal game six to extend the series. If we don't win this, I'll go probably one more year. Um, then after that, I will be like, oh, yep, we're going to lose. We get blown out of the water. Wow, dude. And the Spurs win the NBA championship. All right, I'm going to try and get Jalen Brown here while trading literally every single one of my first-round picks this year. Wow, really? That's not enough? Bro, I'm giving you Shade and Sharp. 
the 9th overall pick, the 11th overall pick, the 13th overall. I'm giving you every first round pick in the world right now. And you still do not want to do this deal. That's insane. This is an insane package for Jalen Brown. And they said, nah. They said, nah, we don't want it. We do not want it. That's insane. Shaden Sharp, 9 and 11. We can get Benneth Matherin and Bam out of bio. That is not a bad deal at all. That I might do this deal. We get Bam and we get Benedict Matherin. We could probably flip Matherin. I'm going to do that deal. I'm definitely going to do that deal. Then I'm going to try and flip Matherin, number 13 and number 22. I am not interested in drafting anyone. Uh, Desmond Bain, we can get Aiton. Uh, we can get Jaden Ivey. I might do that Jaden Ivey deal. 100% I might do that Jaden Ivey deal unless anything else pops up, which it doesn't look like it. Definitely doing this Jaden Ivey deal. Done deal. We get Jaden Ivey on the team. And now our team right now. Uh, let's see if we can get Nick Richards, uh, Terry Rozier, and a first. Will that give us anything? Probably not. Uh, we can get Marcus Smart. And, yeah, not camera. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Marcus Smart is not good in 2K simulation. Uh, we can get Tam Thomas and Sid Sissy, who hasn't even played a single minute of NBA basketball. I don't know about that. We can get Malcolm Brogdon. Nah, we can get Gafford and Dylan Brooks for depth. I might do that trade right there. Uh, we get a younger center, and we get Dylan Brooks to replace Terry Rozier, and they're both making significantly less money than each other. Um, or we can just upgrade and get Markel Fultz in a first round pick off the bench. Um, that Markel Fultz one is very enticing. Yeah, I'm going to do that Markel Fultz one and get just the strength off the bench. Uh, rookie signings. Uh, not signing you. Team player options. We're going to accept all of these. Uh, we might lose Tyler Hero, which clearly I prepared for. We need to bring back Scoop and Hame. Oh, I did not know that. Uh, they're both restricted, though. And we can bring them back. Uh, everyone's restricted. So we, we are able to bring them all back, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but this is where our team stands at right now. If I can't bring one back, it's definitely going to be Tyler Hero. Um, but Bam Adebayo is going to run our center a million percent. Tyler Hero is oh we we can't we can't bring Tyler Hero back and that I'm fine with I'm fine with not bringing Tyler Hero back. Uh, Hame is getting a bunch of offers. Uh, I need to bring back Scoot. Scoot needs to come back. No one's offering him anything. Uh, Scoot Henderson we signed back. Hame I do want back. We'll offer him that contract. Uh, uh, how are you not gonna accept that contract? Thank you. Can we bring back Duran? No, we can't. All right. I thought I thought we might have been able to um, sneak away with Jalen Duran, but we cannot. Uh, so we got Scoot Anderson, Markel Fultz, Jaden Ivey, Jaime Jaquez, um, Matez Buzelis, Giannis. So is that? I thought that was Diamond Stone. I was about to say, ain't no way this man's still in the league. So I think I'm going to trade these two guys to try and get a backup big. And then we'll just need a backup guard, and we'll be chilling. And we're going to trade for Aaron Neesmith and Daniel Gafford. And we're going to bring in Salty Aldama and a pretty valuable first-round pick. Um, so, obviously, we can't bring back Durin, which sucks. Uh, yeah, there's quite literally no way we can bring him back. So, we can't even... Uh, mm, do I bring Brandon Boston in? To be our backup shooting guard? I might do that. Brandon Boston as a backup shooting guard is pretty solid, at least in 2K. Uh... What do you average last year? Did he play? Yeah. We'll bring in Brandon Boston to be a backup shooting guard. He might not even play. But, I mean, this team is built to win a championship. Like, if this team cannot win a championship, I don't know what team I can build better than this to win a championship. Like, I did this basically through the draft, essentially, until right now when I signed Giannis and I just traded everyone. All right, this is the starting lineup for the final season. I believe this is the fifth and final season. Yep. Uh, Scoot Henderson, Jaden Ivey, Jaime Jaquez, Giannis, and Bam Adebayo with Montez Buzelis, Mark Hill Fultz, Daniel Gafford, and Saltiel Damba rounding out the bench. I mean, if this team... I'll see if I can find an upgrade for a backup power forward, maybe, if I trade um, Aldama, Brandon Boston, and the Clippers first-round pick. See if I can find any upgrade for that backup power forward, but I highly doubt it. I'm going to trade for this doom, Kel Ware. Uh, he shot, I think, 38% from three, it said, last year. Yeah, he, he can shoot the ball. Uh, so I'm going to move him to the power forward. He is seven foot. We have plenty of height on this team now. 
So that's a big upgrade. So we now have him and Gafford coming off the bench. If this team doesn't win a championship, I give up on rebuilds as we start off 0-2. All right, end of season number five. Luke Harris is a triple-double to win MVP. These are all the other awards. We actually get Montez Buzelli's as the most improved player. Um, we are the second seed once again going up against the Mavericks in round one. Uh, we were 58-24, and 24, only separated by a game from the one seed. If you go to the player stats, it was very, very balanced. We had one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of our nine rotational players, average double digits or more. Scoot averaged 20 and 10. Giannis averaged 18. Buzelli's averaged 18. Hame Hakez off the bench averaged 15. Um, Jaden Ivory averaged 15. Bam averaged 12. And Marco Fultz off the bench averaged 11. Similar the round against the Mavericks, we should beat them. And we sweep them. Going up against Houston Rockets once again. Amen Thompson, Jalen Green. They have Andrew Wiggins on the team. This team is very, very good. They had Brian James, I saw, off the bench. We are going to beat them in six. Revenge against the Thunder. They have Ron Holland, Keegan Murray, Isaiah Collier off the bench. Uh, let's see, bro. And we lose game one. We lose game two by a lot. And we're down 3-0. The Thunder and 2K are just ridiculous. <laughs> I Like, what am I supposed to do? And we get swept. And, and we, we get swept. We, we got absolutely torched in that round. Like, what what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? No one came. School Anderson shot 37%. It was always shot 41%. I'm. Whatever. That's going to be for me. GG.